Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, we are at the Goodwill Bins, one of my favorite places to be. Um, if you love the Goodwill Bins, comment below. I love the Goodwill Bins. All right, let's get started here. So in this video, I am leaving in a lot of extra footage I normally will trim it down so that I'm popping up screenshots of the items that I'm picking up, but decided I would let you guys watch and tell me what you think I missed, items that you would have picked up. So what I'm going to ask you to do, if you see an item that you would have picked up that I did not pick up, time stamp it in the comments. Um, that way, everybody that goes down and reads the comments, we can keep this educational and maybe somebody will teach me something new and maybe you will learn something new. So if that timestamp is there, you can click on the timestamp and it should take you to that part of the video to see the item. Okay. I know that we all source differently. I've had people say that they watch me, but they would not source the items that I source. And they tell me the items they look for and I'm like, no way, I don't want those items. So we all are so different. That's what's so fun about this. So, you know, I grab the small toys, always, always grab the small toys. I usually find like um, a container like this or something, a tote preferably. And I stick that down in my cart because otherwise all those small toys, they get stuck in my cart or fall through my cart and end up on the floor. So I usually have like a little container to put them in. And I usually find that right when I get to the bins pretty early on because I know that I'm going to be picking up small toys. So uh, Kristen, a rural squirrel, she just put out a video about the Goodwill bins and tips and tricks for shopping at the Goodwill bins. It was so well put together with so much great information. If you have never been to the bins, definitely go watch it. And if you've been to the bins, you should probably still go watch it because she just, she's a bins pro. Like that is what her channel is all about. So a rural squirrel, definitely sub her up. I will link her down below. All right, you guys, like I said, there's going to be um, a lot of like space where I really don't put too much in my cart. But when I do put it in my cart, that means um, I either put it in my cart and I kept it or I put it in my cart and I took it out later on. How do you know? Well, if I pop up a screenshot, that means that the item is listed and available in my eBay store. So I try to keep it educational for you guys to let you know how I am listing things. So you will see pop-ups throughout this video and those are my eBay listings. If it says sold, that means I sold it. <laughs> And there, I think, I know there's at least one item that already sold. So typically what I do is I bring the items home, I list everything, and then I create the video. So there's not always a lot of time between listing and getting the video up. So if something sold, that means it sold very quickly. All right, you guys, have you seen anything that I've missed? So far, I've just picked up little toys that I will lot together. So, um no listings yet, but stay tuned. They're coming. And the item I sold is just an item that is fantastic. Um, I always pick them up uh, if I see them, but this particular style I have not found before. All right. I put these in my cart and then I put them back. Do you guys think I should have got them? They're felt. They're probably like a crafter's item that somebody made they were not in great condition, but I was like, oh, should I get them? I feel like kind of now that I should have gotten them and I put them back. Ah, let me know in the comments. So this footage is the leftover footage from my Goodwill Bins bingo challenge. So there's 25 items that I picked up that I pulled all of that footage out for another video. 
So these are the other items that I grabbed in addition to the 25 items that I did for the Ben's Bingo video. So um, that video has already posted, so definitely go and check that out. And how that worked is I made a bingo card and I put 24 items and a free space on it and resellers like myself, had to go to the Goodwill bins and they had to find the items on the card. Um, I filled my, or I completed the task. I found every item on my card. So definitely go check out that video. Some of them, well, we'll just say I did my best and I filled the category. But um, if you would like to check out everybody that participated in that challenge, you can go and put into the YouTube search bar, hashtag Ben's Bingo, and that will pull up all of the participants and everybody that did the bingo challenge. So um, super fun, great way to get to meet new channels. And I did pick up this Chuck E. Cheese guy. I always pick up Chuck E. Cheese. Um, he's just a bread and butter, but... And then there's a Playmobil here, just the small toys, throwing those in my little um, container. Um, you see the Duplos there? You can learn more about those over at the Ben's Bingo Challenge. That was one of my items um, on my bingo card. And those might surprise you. So I would encourage you to go watch my Ben's Bingo video just so you can hear what happened with that item. All right, we are going to keep looking here. Thank you all so much for being here. Let me know down in the comments how you found the channel. I know um, for those of you that have been watching me a long time, um, I try to mix it up and add in some Goodwill Bins videos, but I also do lots of what sold videos and I um, teach about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. And I do a lot of uh, collaboration style videos where I will share bolos from other resellers and bolos from my Facebook group because the goal is to learn about what we should be sourcing and not everybody sources like me. So I want to teach you guys just the variety of things that we can find and that also helps me learn. So on my channel, you're not just going to see what I sold. However, I do have lots of what solds. I break mine down in bread and butter. Those are the items that I sold for $35 or less. And then I also have my big money bolos. And those are the items that sell for more with um, higher margins. So definitely check out those. I am a full-time reseller. And this is my job. This is what I do. And I love it. So uh, if you're a full-time reseller and you love it, put I love my job down in the comments. And if you're part-time, tell me about it. Um, how long have you been part-time? Are you thinking about going full-time? Uh, give us, tell us about yourself. Put some uh, info down in the comments and let us know where you're at on your reselling journey. Is it just a hobby, something you do for fun to just kind of decompress and make some extra money? I will tell you, thrifting is therapeutic. All right, I did pick up this little hippo, super cute plush. I love picking up plush. So you will see me pick up a bunch of plush later in the video. So stay tuned for that. And when the plush came out, it was literally wet. And I'm like, what on earth? I'm like, why is all this plush wet? And somebody's like, oh, they just sprayed it down in the back. So apparently they spray it down with um, a chemical, you know, like they do at the thrift stores and then they tag them and it says this item has been sanitized or whatever it says. They must do that at the Goodwill bins also. So they had sprayed down the entire cart and these plush were coated good. <laughs> they were They were very damp. So um, definitely doing their job at getting everything and keeping it nice and ready for us to, to buy. So I love that. That was a dog toy. And I went ahead and picked that up. Um, haven't really sold a lot of dog toys, but it's something that I'm kind of playing around with if I could pick them up at the bins cheap. Um, so far, nothing, no luck, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. That one was really cute. 
let me know in the comments if you guys have sold dog toys. Obviously, it has, um, it was not a used dog toy because it probably would have had teeth marks in it and you would have been able to tell. This one looked really nice. And like I said, these items are all available in my store. I have, I think, close to 7,000 items with duplicates listed currently. And if you guys want to check out my store, you're more than welcome to. I did create a coupon for my viewers. Um, if you use the code BOLO Buddies when you check out, you'll get 20% off your order. So that's just something I am uh, doing extra for you guys that are watching and to thank you for your support. No pressure to buy anything by any means, but just know that that coupon's there if you happen to see something you like. All right, we're going to keep looking here. Oh, wow, look at her. <laughs> um, tell me, um, I have sold these elephants. Um, actually, I think I sold one, and then I think I uh, gifted one. But they are super, super cool. I do have one over on my reseller testing Bolo products. If you have never seen how they work, definitely check it out. The reason I didn't pick it up is its nose was a little dir dirty, its trunk. And they're also very heavy and a little bit annoying to ship. <laughs> so I went ahead and left it behind for that reason. Checking out the plush. Looking at the brands. I think that one's a For Real Pet. But again, it was a little bit too dirty for my liking. Uh, for Real Pets do great. But I especially like the For Real Pet accessories. And you can learn more about that over on my hashtag Ben's Bingo uh, video that I did late November. So trying to get out at least one Goodwill Bins video a week. That is my goal. Um, I'm going to try to stick with that. So let me know in the comments, do you like these videos? And if you've been watching my channel for a while, which type of video is your favorite? All right. Digging, digging, digging. Um, I released a video recently on, um, I was at the Goodwill Bins and I did a collaboration video with Dad Planet and they brought out this big old bin of toys and we both found a bolo. We were searching for different items, but I talk about that in the video. So you guys definitely got to go check that out. This is just a little Nella the Princess Knight um, horse. I recognized it. Um, I feel like I've sold something similar to it in the past, but I could not remember which one it went to. So I had to use Google Lens. Okay, right here it is. These are the leapfrog replacement magnets, but they're the farm animals. Um, those sold super quick. Um, I always pick up the magnetic letters but these were the farm animals and uh, they were definitely a really great find. Is that some sort of fruit scoop or something? I don't know. I left it behind. It wasn't in great condition. That I picked up and I took it home. And when I got it home, I realized that it was incomplete. Um, it's some sort of dinosaur and there should have been uh, like, uh, what do you call them, spikes that went along the back of it. So I just went ahead and donated it. Unfortunately, things like that happen. It looked good to me and I threw it in my cart, took it home. And when I used Google Lens, I was like, oh, it's missing parts. And I will sell things that are missing parts. But that item was a little bit heavy and I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it was worth listing. So I didn't. I am known for selling broken items and replacement parts. That's one thing that I like to list. Um, sometimes I like to just surprise you guys and just show you something that sold. So I will list things that you guys are like, no way that is not going to sell. And then it sells. This is a dinosaur. It's not, I was looking for the brand, but I could not find the brand, but it actually lights up and has sound. And I listed that one. It's called Dragon Eye, I think. And um, I listed that one a little bit high, actually. So we'll see if we can uh, 
reach, I'm hoping to get at least 15 for that one. So we are digging, digging, digging. I just love it. It is so fun. I could spend like an entire day at the bins and not be bored. I just get so excited when a new cart comes out. And I'm like, there's been so many times I've been in the checkout line and I see them taking the carts away. And I'm like, oh no, I can't leave yet. And then I go back in and I end up being there way longer than I expected. Tell me if you're guilty of that. Like, I'm leaving, and then you're like, nope, I'm staying. That is a big uh, PJ Masks um, toy. I, I do pick up PJ Masks, and I pick up Paw Patrol, all those little Octonauts, all those different little toys. But the big stuff, like the big vehicles, I have to really consider how much is it going to be to ship? Are people going to buy it if they have to pay 15 to $20 shipping, depending on their location. Um, will it be small enough that I could put it on Poshmark and get that discounted um, shipping rate? So I tell you guys, but it, all the time, but if you're new to the channel, one thing I like to do is put board games and heavier items that are five pounds or less on Poshmark. Um, watch your dimensions. Be careful because there are limits uh, for Poshmark. But uh, they have five pounds or less. It is like seven ninety five, I think, to ship those items. If you go over five pounds, you as the seller are going to res be responsible for that additional shipping to upgrade your label. So make sure that um, it's maybe a good idea if it's close to go ahead and package the item before you list it just to be safe. All right, we're not going to get the pacifier. Is that what... Is that a pacifier or a binky or whatever? Um, I do grab that Imagidex dino right there, but we'll come to that soon. I don't know why I didn't grab it right then. Sometimes when I'm recording, I miss things. So it's really great for you guys to chime in and let me know what you see that maybe I missed. This is a taggy blanket. Um, maybe I should have got that. I don't know. I do really well with the lovies, the little plush ones. Um, the Rebel Reseller is a plush reseller. She is fantastic. If you guys like to sell plush, definitely check her out. The Zombie Bargain Hunter is also a plush reseller. Um, sells tons and tons of plush. And the Cajun Reseller. So there are three plush channels. that um, They sell other items also, but their main focus is plush. So if you want to learn more about plush, definitely check them out. Also, Flippin' Hippos. She does a ton of plush also. So there are four great channels for you to check out if you do plush. All right. Um, I was looking in there because those were nursing things. And sometimes you can find new old stock nursing um, accessories, like things that people who are nursing use. And those will sell. So. All right. We are going to keep looking. Oh, Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. I think that was Tupperware, right? She always gets so mad at me because I pass by all the Tupperware items. But I'm not a big Tupperware item seller because I really don't like to ship those big things. Um, that was a big picture. But um, she swears by it and she loves selling Tupperware. So follow her channel for more tips and tricks. That is Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. And I have mentioned a lot of videos um, or YouTubers in this channel. Oh my goodness, let's start over here. I have mentioned a lot of channels in this video. I will link them down in the description. So it'll be real easy for you guys to go down and click on their channels and check out their reseller content. Oh, it's so funny. Um, in a video coming up, it will be down the road because I got to get everything listed but I recently watched a video from Got Junk in Our Trunk. And she um, actually, I think she lists, actually she sent it to me for one of the featured members video. And it was an item I had never seen before. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's pretty cool. And it kind of stuck in my mind. And would you not believe it if I told you 
I was at the Goodwill bins and I found two of them. I could not believe it. I threw them in my cart so fast. Um, I was super excited to find that. Got Junk in Our Trunk really does a great job of picking up uh, really different and fun items. I really enjoy her channel. So definitely check her out as well. There's that little Imaginex dragon toy. That'll probably be long tail, but you know, um, people are buying used toys. Okay, so we are in fourth quarter right now and I am selling a lot of toys. Let me know if you're a toy seller, if you feel like your sales for toys are picking up. I honestly feel like people are buying used toys for their kids for Christmas. And I think it's incredible. I mean, why go out and spend all this money on new items when you can thrift items, whether that be for your kids, for your parents, for your family. Um, right here, this is a punch. Some of these do really well. The Martha Stewart, definitely look for those. Um, but anyway, I've heard so many reseller channels talking about buying thrifted items for um, their family. I was actually watching the Let's Do Lunch podcast, um, and they were talking about it over there. Uh, that is a newer... I just dropped my phone. <laughs> that is a newer podcast, um, but they have already hit 1,000 subscribers. They are doing incredible and uh, you should definitely go and sub them up. They go on on Fridays and they usually have a guest on and they just talk about reselling and life in general. So really laid back. Um, I like to watch them while I list. So definitely check out that. And the three main gals that run that podcast are um, Angie Resells, Rachel Strickland, and um, a rural squirrel. So all three of those channels, uh, check them out as well. But they invite guests on to uh, chit chat for Friday lunch. All right, we are going to keep digging here. Could you guys hear me drop my phone? Literally um, dropped it three times <laughs> while I'm sitting here doing this voiceover. So I had somebody tell me that they're not a big fan of voiceovers and they prefer to hear the bends in the background. And I know I've asked you guys before and most of you don't like the um, sound in the background and you like the voiceovers because you learn. So I don't know. I, I feel like I can't please everyone. I'm sorry, you guys. Did you see that little monster truck glow in the dark? Uh, that was pretty cool. I didn't know it glowed in the dark. And I got home and I was like, ooh, this glows in the dark. I have to like show it in the photo. All right, so here's the plush and it was all wet. Remember I told you? And it smelled funny too. You could smell like the chemicals. But um, by the time I got it home, everything was dry and you couldn't smell it anymore. So I don't know what they use on the plush to... Um, clean them or sanitize them or whatever it does to them. Um, but it worked. All right. These are PJ masks. Um, these are nine inch figures. So, uh, not as familiar with them. So definitely picked those up and you saw me dra grab the, uh, Paw Patrol car. I will lot that with something else. This is hop and it's a build a bear. So that one was really cool. And you see that totem style plush? I ended up putting that back. Comps weren't very good on it. And it was super big. I did pick up this owl. Um, anything in my store that is an owl, I try to remember to put Olo, O-L-O, -O, um, just for fun because that is my mascot for my channel. I have an owl named Olo, <laughs> Bolo with Olo. Uh, so I did pick up that cool owl. It was a beanie boo and uh, that had the glitter eyes. I think it had glitter eyes, but it was a really cool one. So it was a tie. So that's available. I picked up quite a few plush actually. Uh, plush are really easy to list and they're easy to ship. Um, I've had people ask me, how do you ship your plush? Well, what I do is I ship them in a bubble mailer typically. If they have um, eyes that are plastic, I take an extra sheet of bubble wrap and I fold it across the eyes and then I stick it into the bubble mailer. 
just to kind of protect the eyes from getting scratched during shipment. Even if it's in a bubble mailer, I feel like it's better to just take that precaution. I loved this guy and I was thinking he was going to be something special, but he really is not. <laughs> it's just a bread and butter. A lot of times I don't care with the plush, if it's bread and butter, if it's big money. I, you know, I'm not sitting there looking every single plush up for the price that I pay for them. I just throw them in my cart. I know that I'll make money. Um, I don't check the sell through rates for plush. I just um, expect that the plush is probably going to be long tail. Most plush is. All right, let's see what else we can find here. A lovey, definitely a win. Always pick those up. You never know. Somebody is looking for it. Uh, we've got the little Serta um, 50th anniversary uh, sheep or lamb or whatever it is. I did pick that up. We'll see how that goes. And this little guy, I just thought he was cute and he had his original tag, Halloween theme. We'll try it. Can't hurt to try it. Um, I know that when I usually am in the plush, everybody's like, you missed this one. Like, should I have got this doll? I'm wondering now, should I have got this doll? She looks kind of special and I left her behind. It's so sad because uh, I just know that these items are going to go to a landfill. I should have got that horse. I don't know why I didn't get that horse. Probably because I have 6 million things to list <laughs> and I need to stop. Oh my goodness. It's so hard. I just love it. All right, that was a turtle. And um, I do pick up that little elephant. I sat it back down, but I go back for that one. Like, look at this dog. Why didn't I get that? There are so many cute plush that I passed on. Oh, I hope somebody came in after me and bought some of them. Save the plush, save the plush. So let me know in the comments, do you sell plush? If so, let me know what you think about it. And if you don't, let me know why you don't. I did pick up that little Boyd's frog. It had this cute little jacket on it. Um, it'll be a bread and butter, but it was cute. And it did not have the original tag, unfortunately. This here I just thought was so cute. And I'm like, what is this little monkey? And it ended up being a, uh, it's a dog toy. <laughs> I couldn't find any comps. All right, these are Neopets. They're from McDonald's. That's another McDonald's toy that I will pick up is the little plush Neopets. And my friend D was across from me and she saw me grab the one and she handed me the other one. So that was really nice of her. Um, the little elephant definitely picked that up. She did steal a lovey from me, though. You'll hear about that in my Ben's Bingo video. She's a thief. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Look at this big guy. Would you have got the big uh, dinosaur there or the Scooby-Doo? There were a lot of good plush I passed on. You got to remember, everything I bring home, I list it before the video. I walk out of there with a full cart and I'm like, what was I thinking? What am I doing? I have to list all this now. So if you want to see the other 25 items that I picked up on this trip, um, head over to um, my video that says hashtag Ben's Bingo. I did pick up that King Kong. He was pretty cool. But he uh, did have a little defect. I found a little hole in the seam, which is no big deal. That's pretty easy to fix, but I am not fixing it. I just disclose it. This little guy, I have no idea. I was just drawn to him. I thought he was super cute with his little banana outfit. And I did grab him. The one item I think was a jelly cat, but the tag had been cut off. Don't quote me on that, but it sure looked like it. This is from um, The Wicked Musical. So uh, a lot of times those Broadway shows and musicals, uh, those items can be collectible. So did go ahead and pick that up. All right. So far, tell me what has been your favorite item that I have picked up. And I'm really excited to go down to the comments and look and see what I missed. 
I do, that does not bother me at all. I do not get offended by that one bit. I love it when you guys tell me what you would have picked up. Lots of games here. I know some people part out games. I will do that from time to time. Parting out games is a lot of work, but again, once you do it, you just keep adding quantity as you pick those games up. So on the front end of it, it takes a lot of work, but on the back end of it, you just keep adding that quantity in. I always pick up bags, Ziploc bags, grocery bags. I always check them. Um, I have found some amazing items in bags. Um, in one of my recent videos, I found a bag of barrettes. And at the end of the video, I actually unbag those barrettes for you and show you how um, I will make money selling all the items in that bag. So definitely uh, check that out. That, I believe, was in my video, my Goodwill Bins video before my Bins Bingo video. <laughs> I don't know. They're all running together. Just just go watch all of my Goodwill Bins videos. I have a whole playlist. You can just like put it on the playlist and just watch me dig for hours upon hours upon hours. All right. That's vintage. It was pretty cool. I did pick up this little piece right here. Um, it did have an, it's clay, I believe. And it had a name on the back. So anytime I find something that's signed and it's that small, it's going to cost me like nothing. It's $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill bins. So something that weighs a few ounces is going to be very, very cheap. And if it's signed, I'm definitely picking it up. So I did pick that up. This right here is a Kodak. Um, I forget what it's called. It's I just popped up the screen share for you guys. I thought that was going to be better because it was vintage and really, really cool. And it's just a bread and butter. But I did see on the Rebel Reseller show shortly after I picked it up, she had a what sold video and she sold a lot of three of them with some advertising um, paperwork. And I think she sold them for like 30 bucks. So still a bread and butter. But uh, I thought it was so funny that I had just picked up that item and then I saw on her what sold where she had sold it. So that gave me some hope. Now I just got to sell the item. That's a little peep, you know, like Easter time peeps. Sometimes I pick those up. They have those and then they also have the chicks. I've seen those. Let me know in the comments if you've had luck selling those. All right. I am talking. <laughs> And I stopped talking for a minute. I apologize. I'm going to pick up another lovey right here. Um, that one's just another bread and butter, but it's super cute. It's a little, little monkey. It's got um, polka dots and just really, really adorable. And again, people lose those items. Their child loses the item and they search for them on eBay because they're discontinued or retired. So I had somebody... Okay, these are Weebles, uh, Play School Weebles. Definitely pick those up. They're vintage. Um, I had somebody from Australia reach out to me and they were like, can I buy this item? And I'm like, sure. It was on auction. And um, they're like, I live in Australia. And I'm like, yeah, no problem. I use Global Shipping Program. You're welcome to bid on the item. And they ended up winning the auction. And it was an item that had some condition issues. It was definitely a bolo. Um, if it's in great condition, 40, 50 bucks all day long, I priced mine lower because of the condition issues. And it sold on the seven day auction again to somebody in Australia. Their child had, I believe, lost the item and they were just so happy that they were able to find the exact item. So I was really thankful that I listed that item even though it had damage and defects because that person needed that item for their child. So um, that happens a lot. 
Uh, Donatella Bottolino always says someone is looking for this. She does uh, YouTube auctions and she'll hold something up and she'll say that and she's right. You know, every item that we list on eBay a lot of times has some sort of value, maybe not to you, but to someone else. Somebody is looking for that item and it's the truth. Here is a great example of one of those items that somebody could be looking for. All right, you guys, so this is just some repeat footage. Um, I want to show you what it would be like if I was talking at the same time as I was digging, like with the voiceover. So let me know if you prefer no background sound or if you like the sound of the bends in the background. And I'm just going to end this video here. If you guys want to continue to watch, this is repeat footage. But it's just me digging through the bends. There's not going to be any other sound um, other than the bends sound. I know some of you like that sound and maybe don't want to hear my voice. So um, I'm just going to play this for about three or four minutes of me just digging and no voiceover. So thanks for watching. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to open it up.